Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Haley, and today we're going to be painting a tiny underwater landscape together using watercolor brushes. Creating these landscapes is very simple, and I think you will love the beautiful results. Let's get started. On our square of watercolor paper, we're going to begin by drawing a circle. I'm using a quarter just to create a standard small size for mine, but you could use a button or anything else you have lying around. And today we're going to use three shades of teal for our project. And as always, all of these supplies are listed in the description box below. So beginning with your lightest color, we're going to scribble across the top third of our circle. Then we're going to use our mid-tone and go across the middle. Create some wave shapes in here by curving that down a bit more. And finally, our darkest color. And there we go. Now we take our water brush and tiny circles, tiny, tiny circles every time. Just begin to soften and blend these colors. I love watching the colors bleed into each other and see new shades and shapes and patterns emerge as you move across your circle. Blend out some of that darkness. I'm going to wipe off my brush and blend a little bit more up here. my brush wet again and just dab it here so some of that color blooms into the top a little bit more. Oop! Huge drop of water just came out of my brush creating this effect on the corner. I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera. It's a little bit too much though it is a cool effect so I'm just gonna dab some of that off with my sponge. I use this dirty dirty sponge to wipe off my brush for all different projects. You can see all the different colors I've used. But it's great because I can keep using it over and over. There we go. Now that I've dabbed off the excess water, I'm going to grab my heat gun and dry this. Now that we have this beautiful aqua colored globe. We're going to take a black pen. I'm using some archival ink today since we won't be blending this over our galaxy. And trace my circle all the way around. And then I'm going to keep this ocean themed. So instead of like the mountain landscape that we drew before with pine trees, a forest, and a mountain at the top. I'm going to draw some seaweed and coral shapes at the bottom of this. So we'll just begin with some winding S shapes here. You can make them thicker if you want. Fill them in since we're just creating silhouettes here. And corals kind of have branches coming off of them. It's kind of a classic coral shape. So I'm draw something like that. And again, make that a little bit thicker. I don't know if you've ever seen brain coral. That's just kind of like a big lump at the bottom of the ocean. This could also be a rock or an eel's cave. With your imagination, the possibilities are endless. So we're going to draw that at the bottom. Now I think we need a bit more seaweed, kind of just all over, like go to town with it. Make some thick, make some thin. 
Do some of that really tall seaweed that has like the ball at the end that you always find at the beach. Sometimes seaweed has like leaves coming off the sides. We'll do some of that. This is your ocean world, so do whatever you feel like. And draw some seaweed crossing here. Creates a little bit of movement in our ocean. And then I think I'll add another branch of coral here. Maybe a more brittle coral this time, so it's a little bit thinner. I'm really happy with that, um, but obviously there's not necessarily mountains underwater. So in the top of this, I think I'm going to fill it in with some fish shapes. So in order to draw a fish silhouette, I'm just going to start with a circle. Just a tiny, tiny circle. Then we're going to create a little triangle off the end and then kind of swoop up for a top fin, another skinny triangle for a bottom fin, and then a wide tail there. You can see with just those simple shapes, <coughs> we've turned that into a fish so easily. And then we can do smaller fish down here, just tinier. Don't even need to create triangle shapes, just little dots off each end of your circle. If we want to create something larger, we can just make an elongated shape. So I'm going to make a curve down like that. We're going to stick out a little oval. You can probably guess what I'm drawing now. I've got a dolphin on my mind. We're going to make another curve down here that. And dolphins have fins kind of shaped like curved triangles, so we're going to curve that one back and then fill it in. These are just silhouettes, so we're going to fill them all in black. teeny tiny waterscape with some creatures and plants in there and I'm going to add one more element to it. I'm going to add some bubbles in here so I'm just going to add some little dots. Little bits floating in the water. Little white dots. Maybe some coming up off the dolphin. I love watching documentaries where dolphins are chasing bubbles, popping bubbles in the ocean. You could also draw some longer lines to suggest water bouncing off or light bouncing off the surface of the water. Some more bubbles down here. Maybe some sand was kicked up. So you got some teeny tiny dots. And there we go. Now we have our teeny tiny ocean landscape. I hope you give this a try. And if you do post a picture on Instagram, tag me at Haley Ray Designs. I would love to see your work. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more fun and simple watercolor projects.